Hello, Z-Bird. Mario and the Rabbids are back to exploring the galaxy in the newest Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope DLC, The Last Spark Hunter. This DLC features a whole new planet to explore, the Melodic Gardens. Will we be able to uncover all of the secrets of this planet and defeat the mysterious final Spark Hunter? Let's find out together. So here's the whole squad back in the ship. So we're heading to a new planet, right? Interesting, everybody is here too. Huh. Ah, Genie, would you please find the open channel broadcast for the Melodic Gardens? Ooh, here we go. Our flight path to Cursor Stronghold should take us close enough to hear the planet's biophonies, the songs of the natural world. They are the perfect balm for our jangled nerves after our harrowing adventures on Barrendale Mesa. Ooh, so I wonder if this takes place before the ending of the main game. On a positive note, however, Barrendale Mesa did give us the opportunity to decisively defeat the last of the Spark Hunters. I think so. Interesting. So this is before we defeat Cursa, technically. Beepo, I have double and triple checked the signal. The Melodic Gardens have gone completely silent. But that's impossible! The entire planet is a living symphony! Uh, unless it's going through a minimalist phase. I believe I have found another explanation. A very recent outbreak of dark mess activity on the planet. Whoa. Genie, change course to the Melodic Gardens at once! Uh. Or we're going to curse the stronghold. We'll get there as soon as possible, Rabbit Rosalina, I promise. But if we don't save the Melodic Gardens first, we may be walking into the lion's den with a viper at our heels. Uh-oh. So let's head to the Melodic Gardens and see if we can't help out. All right, so here we are. Ooh, lots of trees. Whoa. Already seems like it's gonna be a very pretty area. Here we are. So a whole new planet to explore. This is gonna be great. Beepo, the air density here on the Melodic Gardens has been drastically altered. Until it has been returned to normal, our ship will be unable to achieve the thrust necessary to escape its atmosphere. Uh oh, so we're stuck Nothing here. Nothing will be normal here until we rid the Melodic Gardens of dark mess. Rest assured, it will be difficult. How difficult? Oh, so this is where we can choose a difficulty. We have relaxed, average, or demanding. I'm pretty in the middle of the road when it comes to skill in this game. I think average is great. Of course, this level of difficulty could change at any point during our mission, but that's nothing new for us, is it? I guess mm, not. All right, squad, let's go. Attention. We're moving out. Very cool. It seems like we're starting with all of the characters straight away as well, so that's pretty cool. All heroes and sparks available. You've unlocked the entire complement of heroes and sparks. Go to the team selection tab to choose among them. So we can do that right now if we wanted to. Obviously, we're pretty familiar with it. You can browse through your heroes and swap the ones in the team with the ones that joined us. Select your favorite team of heroes without any restrictions. That is so cool. So we already know how to you know, do all this, but even everything is level four at the least, that's pretty cool. So it's not like based off of what we did in Sparks of Hope, the main game. It just sort of starts us off this way. That's pretty nice though. Really just gives us open strategies to do whatever we please. And our new main quest is Harmony Disruption. Well, it shows that on the map. Whoa, so here's the whole planet we have to explore. This seems like it's gonna be great. So yeah, we'll just get started with this now. We'll look around a little bit too to see if there's anything else going on on the starting area. Probably not. Oh no, wrong button, sorry. I'm trying to remember what the sprint button is. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so, oh hey look, it's a little shop merchant too. Hi, huge sale going on. Forget about Biophonies, the sweetest sound of, in the galaxy, saving money on high-end quality products. Psst, this isn't public yet, but we're having a one day only going out of business sale. Everything must go. 
Mind you, id sales bought 999 plus tax solutions, LLC, that's going out of business. Sales bought 999 plus tax distribution, LLC, has its grand opening sale tomorrow. Little trick of the trade for you. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a good review. The Galactic Institute for Marketplace Trust is really on my case lately. All right, so let's see what you got. Anything new, is there any new items? It doesn't seem like it, but there is, I guess maybe different uh, entries for things, so that's cool, as well as different weapon skins. So that's very cool, earn up our stuff as much as we can to get those. And I guess we're gonna go this way over first level, the March of the Golems. Huh, and it's a level 31, that's sort of intimidating. Or does hopping straight into the action, that is so exciting. This really does just sort of take place in the middle of the Sparks of Hope story. So here we are, the March of the Golems. What is with that? Oh, the cannon looks very silly. We have to reach the area over there. There's a lot of new things I'm, I'm sort of noticing here. Huh, okay. Oh hey, a new spark too. This is Berserk. You're gonna need to use the cannon to make it out of here. Thankfully, you've got me to show you the ropes. See the button on that ground plate? I do. Is there another one way over there? There is. There are two of them. See that one there? The cannon launching you to the safe zone won't activate unless you press both buttons. Easy, huh? One more thing, win this battle and I'll be free to join you. So we need to get to those buttons, but be what is this? Not. If my analysis is correct, we'll soon see a new and terrible foe hatch from those shell-like chrysalises. Uh-oh. Once defeated, they will return to their egg state and emerge rejuvenated, unless you dash them while they're in the egg. Gotcha. A dangerous enemy indeed. I strongly suggest having a closer look at them using the Tacticam. I definitely will. So new enemies, new terrain, new gameplay modes, or I guess modes, I guess like concepts with the buttons and stuff to press. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but let's see. We'll, we'll manage our team really quickly. Is this really what I want? And when it comes to the skill tree, it looks like not everything is maxed out. I wonder if this is how it was in Sparks of Hope for me? I really don't know. Um, but it seems like overall pretty interesting setup. Okay, I definitely wouldn't have given the spark upgrades to Mario and Luigi. So maybe it is a little bit different. Hmm. I think I will get Princess Peach over here for right now, because I'm just trying to figure out how we best want to do this. We'll swap you two out. I think this is a fine enough setup though. Let's not get too worried about it. Um, but before we go too crazy with any of that, I need to see which enemies are here with the Tacticam and see what they're weak to before we can really choose a spark. So. Let's go in like this. This is our brand new enemy, the Shockum, or Shockin' Golem. Find the optimal position on the battlefield to inflict a shock-based area attack on as many foes as possible. And has the Golem shell. When a Golem reaches zero HP, it will revert to an embryonic state that is invincible to all but dashing or stomping. It will spawn back as a Golem if not destroyed during this state. So it's weak to ooze. We take another look around what other enemies might be waiting for us. It looks like we have some pretty simple things like the Alone Wolf, which is weak to burn, and the Stooge, which is neutral. Way over here, it's more of the same, except for you. This is another Golem Rabbit, the Flaming Golem. Same thing with the uh, abilities, um, but it, ha it is weak to splash. So we have a lot to choose from here. Where would this cannon launch us? Way up there. Where would the button be though? I'm not quite sure, I didn't see it anywhere. Uh, I guess way up there. So it's gonna be quite the journey if we wanna be able to get everything. I think we should probably travel as one group then. Maybe make our way down to this button first. That feels like it might be a better idea. So, okay, start like this. I want to go with focusing on the guys that are the strongest and scariest, so they're weak to ooze. So let's definitely make sure that we have some ooze, which we do. Here, I want to get this over like that. Ooh, and I think that if we could spawn in some friends, like the Wild Claw Master could be cool. Uh, even some long distance ones too, like the this Oozer Master, Squashette Master, Scoper Master is one of the best ones in my opinion. So we'll do something like that. I definitely want something that's like Gust for or maybe even Splash, something where we can dive a lot as Edge, because Edge has a lot of dives. So maybe we'll do something like that. And then, what if we did Gargantua, or Gargantu Fan? <laughs> it's a different game that has Gargantuars. Uh, okay, cool. So one thing I just want to make extra sure is that we have as many dashes as possible, because like, hmm, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm in love with this setup. Let's remove Spark Gift and Spark Guard for now. Just so that I can get these upgrades, because this is way more important in my opinion, um, is getting as many um, dashes as possible. So maybe even the Heal Sponge, gonna refund that. Is that enough? I still need one more point somewhere. Uh, okay, lower the critical hit chance a little bit. Getting these dashes is so important. So getting that there, going to Mario and doing the same thing, we need to make sure the hero site is super maxed out. I think that's always a good thing to have. I think I don't really need stop too much. Okay, so hero site damage really boosts that. And then also the hero site cooldown, making that maxed out. This is a lot better. The plus one extra reactive the target is defeated isn't as necessary. Then finally, Princess Peach. We wanna make sure that her team barrier is as good as we can make it. So I think Maybe even removing the extra dash so that we can make sure it has an extra charge. Well, this is a uh, range. Um, the charge is more important for now. I need one more point for that. Darn. Um, maybe remove the guide boost. Okay. So I'm just trying to make things a little bit more comfortable from what I know it. Uh, oh, uh, she still has two more points. What should I spend here? I do not want to leave points just laying there. So we'll do a little bit of that. And then I'll give her the heal sponge back. Even though we don't really need the heal sponge in this, we'll just give you more health. Because we don't have the healing character right now. Uh, let's try this out. It might totally blow up in my face and not turn out well at all, but there's only one way to find out. And to get started with our first battle let's here in the second DLC of Mario and Robin. So yeah! dashing through that, pretty cool. Then we gotta get all of our friends over as much as possible. I'll get Mario right here for now. Uh, and then we'll get Peach somewhere farther out there. Uh, yeah, let's get you to team jump. If I could get Peach over here, I thought that'd be a pretty cool idea. Because then we can just dash into you, prepare ourselves to fight you a little bit. And then I think I want Edge to get a little farther out than this. But something like this might be good. Boom, and just continue to dash into you. And then maybe one more. Because we get more and more movement range with each and every dash. It gets pretty crazy. So I can move Edge back over here, have Mario jump off of you. You can see the availability to do things here gets pretty crazy. So now we can hide Mario over this way. I could get Mario over here too, if I just wanted to blast this person right where we're standing. I could try this and then boom, boom. I think that'll be enough to, yeah, at least land one of them back over to Peach. Blast you like this, see ya. That's really good. And if we have any extra moves with Peach, I want to spawn in the Scoper. Very cool. So the Scoper's out here. We got the Spark Refresher too, so the Spark cooldown was reset. Don't know if I exactly need it right now, but 600 damage to you. And then uh, how, do, how do we want to get Edge out here? I could do something like this, just do a bunch of damage to these guys. You know what, sure, why not? It seems like fun. I'm gonna skip it just so we can keep moving. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. So I think we're in a pretty good starting spot here. I think I'll just end it like that, past the turn. We got another scoper moving in, but they can't do too much. Oh, they are making it dangerous to move. So we'll fast forward through some of this. And I might be a little bit rusty. Oh, that's a different kind of golem. Oh yeah, these are all different kinds. Scary. Okay, that did get rid of one of them. So, how do we want to do this? I might just want to activate the shield while we have the opportunity. And then just have Princess Peach run out here. Because that way it doesn't do any damage. Just like that. So, I can get her to fly over like this. And that might be even better. So, we got that there. Have Rabbit Edge, or just Edge, do the same thing. A team jump off of you. Here we go. And then if I dash into them a lot, I should be able to get even more done. Dash ya. Dash ya again. It really is crazy how we can just dash so many times. So that's enough for me to get up this way. We're getting really far now. So I jump off of this, and then I jump off of that. We're traveling really, really far now. But this is where that golem thing is, and I don't really know how this works. Golem, golem. Uh, so I wanna be very careful. So once again, it will find the optimal uh, finds the optimal position on the battlefield to inflict shock-based area attack on as many foes as possible. A little scary. How far can it move? Movement. 
it can move decently far. So I do need to keep that in mind and just be careful. I could try to go for an attack like this too. I mean, I do have the shield too, so maybe I'm, I'm worrying about it too much. Maybe that was silly. We'll, we'll get this going. We'll switch back over to Mario. We can do more of the same. Okay, Mario. Just gonna jump off Peach. Get over here and right about here. That way I can just dash into you. And then we should just be able to blast you twice, right? right. That's enough to finish you off. Excellent. <laughs> so Princess Peach can't really do too much more besides just wait here. So I'm a little bit worried for Edge here, but at the same time, we do have the double shield. So I think we'll be okay. Like there's one shot done and that's all that's gonna happen this time. We have our scope or friend just sort of repositioning. I think I'll just have Peach try to come over now. The only thing is that we don't have that shield anymore. Maybe we could have saved it, but they are weak to ooze, right? And I think that's what our one spark move is, is ooze. We're about to find out. And right here, we go into you like that. Here we go. That's gonna do a lot of damage to them for sure. And obviously I don't think we wanna get rid of every single opponent, but if we can damage around somebody as scary as this, I think it's a good idea. Okay, so I think at this rate, what we do I land about here and I just start dashing into you. So get you, get you like that. There's a second one, a third one, and then this last one almost finishes you off. Okay, can't do too much more. So we're out of here. I can maybe get up this way. I gotta be careful though, because you can really see a lot going on up here too. I'll throw my sword at you and that does a lot of damage. It really is nice that we're starting at such a high level. Okay, that's all that Edge can really do at the moment. We can switch over to Mario though, and he can do quite a lot here. So I think we just want him to jump this. A little bit more. We can definitely finish you off. No problem. There it is. Oh, they're not happy about it. But oh yeah, that's right. We have to dash into you again soon, or that'll pop back up, and that won't be so fun. So I think at this point, if Mario can team jump off of somebody like Princess Peach, that would be the best bet, because I don't think he has yet. Yep, team jump. Get about here. And then I think if we just blast you twice. Yep, that finishes off another one. So hopefully this next turn will be able to get rid of the Golem. We're really taking this slow for the time being, but I think it's worth it. Okay, yeah, end of turn for now. No, you just pop up right away. That's wild. I figured we'd have like an extra turn or something to cool off, but no, doesn't work that way. So we have to be very careful with things like that. You hit me with ooze, I think? Weird. Um, okay, we're back at it then. Honestly, we can leave you here, and I don't think it'd be too big of a deal. I'm just going to just move on to this next thing. Because we're almost at the button, it seems. Here, let's go over this way then. I'm gonna blast through everything I got just like this. So this new type of enemy, definitely peculiar. Nothing we can't handle. Because now what we can do is we can dash through like this, get Mario a little bit farther. Just enough so that he can press this button and go into there, okay. So, boom, button pressed. That's one of two. And then we can just finish you off really fast. This is where we're going to swipe into you and finish you off then. Edge can do that, no problem. Ready, and boom, got it. Okay, yeah, very pathetic. We're defeating them pretty easily. And what about our scoper? Are they around still? Not quite sure. More enemies are starting to spawn in. Here's our scoper, able to hit one of those stooges. And we're just on to our next round. So I guess I should actually get Edge to come back so that Peach can actually reach the pipe. So I want Peach to keep up with everybody else as much as possible. So Peach first through the pipe. And then everybody else should be able to make it happen. Very exciting. Everybody's taking a little bit of damage, but not really too much to be worried about, I don't think. And then Mario. I don't see any enemies really to the left. So we just have to do that same thing now, but just to the right. And I have a feeling that that way is gonna be a lot more difficult. Okay, I'm trying to get all the way up here as much as I can. That way, 
I mean, Peach can just use the jump pad, and same thing with Edge. I can get Edge to land, yeah, right on this. Ooh, here we go, this is where we can really get far. Because what we can do, get Mario there, get Edge to jump off of you, and get a little bit farther down here, just behind this thing. Awesome. Because so I do see some enemies up ahead, but not so much that they should be able to reach us. And then I guess we'll just get Peach over here too. Just with the same thing, just jump off the jump pad, fly over, and boom, we got it. So this is a really tough first level. Like, it's very involved. A lot of challenges here um, for our first level of the CLC. They're not playing around, that's for sure. Okay, so they are making this a bit challenging. We got that column over there. Golem, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. Oh, but one of them gets dealt with. So how do I want to do this? I could, first off, just activate the shield, help out all of our little friends here. Then I could um, get Peach down like this. Of course, she's gonna try to get blasted like this. That's okay. Doesn't do any damage to us at the end of it. Keep moving, keep moving. Quite done. Ooh, can't quite reach it, unfortunately, but I can at the least blast you like this. Not as much as I wanted, for sure, but. You know what? We'll get Mario down this way. Can I just blast you? Yeah, dead on like this. Okay, you know what we could do then? Let's turbo charge. Mario seems to be enjoying that. And then we'll just blast you twice. Boom, boom. A thousand damage on both of those is crazy. And unfortunately, I can't really move. This might be risky. We'll see if this actually works out for us, but if it does, it'll be huge. There it goes. Okay, so what I wanna do here is just dash into you. Dash into you again. This will be the third time. So our fourth dash should be just getting rid of that. Then I can get over this way. I can strike you like this. That does so much damage. Sending you flying too, I should have considered my angling then, but it's still enough to defeat you. So honestly, we're in a perfect position here. We're clearing out enemies left and right, and some of them might end up getting closer, but this is why we had the shield on from Princess Peach anyways. I mean, it was to defend against the golem, but. We have our scoper buddy moving forward too. Not gonna be able to land any damage, but what do we wanna do first? I think we'll get Mario over as much as I can manage. Uh, yep, there we go. Don't think Mario's quite gonna be able to reach the pipe here, but he'll be able to get really darn close. Oh no, he does! Awesome! So, there's that. I want Mario to go through the pipe here just to see what's next for us. The pipe, or the, the cannon is way off that way. So, I think, what are you weak to? Um, Splash. So I guess at this point, we activate the hero shot. We blast you with everything we do have. And that way, if you even think about moving, you're gonna be in trouble. Back over here, Princess Peach can definitely get some things done. We'll fly over, fall down, dash into you, keep it moving. I don't know if we wanna worry about doing a ton of damage over here. I can at least do this out. Back over to Edge, dash you once, dash you twice, keep it moving. This is where we can get some interesting stuff done. I think at the least, I'll get over here. Because how many, I have two dashes left. If I could do this. Oh man, actually, could be doing something really crazy here. Oh, and then that's gonna activate Mario's hero site. Wow, that was actually fantastic. It's not enough to knock you out. Oh no, it is. I can't quite reach you. Uh-oh. Um, maybe I should just stand back as far away as possible, just in case. I'm a little nervous, but I don't think we can do too much more this turn. So, yep, we'll just end the turn like that. We don't have any items at the moment either. Okay, Mario, get him as much as you can. I just gotta slice him. Go on. Ooh. That's not too much damage, but it is unfortunate. Scoper's getting a little closer, but once again, not enough to actually do much. Okay, so what I think I wanna do is just get Mario as far along as possible here. Get him through the cannon if we need to. Should be right about here. Perfect. Then over here, Peach, I just wanna dash into them. Edge can do more of the same. One, two, 
Okay, so I think we'll be able to get it. Gotcha. Very cool. Oh, you know what? We need to help out Princess Peach here if we want her to get to the pipe or the cannon. There we go. There's a lot going on here, for sure. We're now through the cannon, you go. Oh, is this the last one? Or is there more after? I think there's more after this, unfortunately. But I could just walk up and start just oozing everybody. Getting oozed and getting bruised. And we get the spark refresher, so next time. I can't summon the scoper because we already have the scoper out here, but I can, at the least, get everybody else over a little bit. Will this hit you? It will. I don't know if it'll be enough for a knockdown. Well, I guess we have the burn right now? Whoa, that should be enough to knock you down. I'd imagine. There it is, awesome. So, Mario, it's all up to you. And we do have that hero sight again, because this is every turn we have it, which is pretty crazy. And I think I will just try to blast you twice. I'm almost able to get it. If they try to move, we just use hero sight on them. So with that, pass the turn. Because they always move first before they attack. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, maybe they don't. I, I thought that they normally would. It's okay. That was still good because we're almost at the area we need to reach. Like, we're so, so close. So I'll do that. I'll get a uh, edge to get us closer. Here we go. And then boom, we're in right here. Get into that. And then we also need Mario to get a little bit closer. I mean, I think that we're basically there. I just want to make extra sure of that. Oh yeah. Okay, so back over to edge. Uh, them go through the pipe first, or the cannon. I don't know, I wanna keep calling it a pipe. And it looks like it's just you over there, and I think there's a stooge on the right. So I think we can handle that for sure. If we activate a turbo charge, I don't think we have spark refresher for Mario right now. Oh, we do. But I mean, is that all that much useful for that? I don't know. Because what type of golem is this? Ooze, okay, it's weak to ooze, so. Yeah, we could walk up, do something like this, wouldn't it be such a bad idea? All right, good damage there for sure. I could set up the shielding. You know what, I'm gonna set up the shielding. I have a feeling that just might be worth our while. Switch back to Mario, activate the hero sight. Go to edge. And since we do have this protection, I'm gonna be a bit bold and just attack from here. Ooh, pretty nice. Okay, so, ending the turn there. Oh, actually, you're defeated now. Whoops, didn't realize I was gonna do that much damage. I thought the golems would have been tankier than they are. So you're gonna pop back out of there. I don't know if I'm all that too worried, like all that worried, yeah, really. But they can attack us like this with our shielding, not a problem. So yeah, I just dash into you one more time, and then after that. One more time, very cool, very cool. So I wonder, we just have to get to that ending pipe over there, that's the last thing we need to do. How difficult will that be? I think we uh, make sure that Mario and Peach can get over there too. That'll be our first goal, of course. Drop you off right there. I wish I could do some other stuff with the other characters while this was happening. Where is, oh, it's right up there, okay. So I think in theory, yeah, I, I wanna be careful with this. I wanna make sure, because we can't go back up afterwards. So might as well get Peach over first. But I think we just won this one super long first level, for sure. So it needs to be Edge, because Mario and Peach have both jumped off of Edge. They don't have another team jump. But I think Edge can jump off of there and then just go into the cannon and win. So team jump, get up here. This is definitely it. We just won for sure. And it wasn't that bad. We lost some health along the way, but nothing too detrimental. There was never a point where I felt like a real threat. Yep, we just walk up, bounce up here, and boom, we just won. Very cool, our first battle of DLC 2, the last Bark Hunter is cleared, and we get healed up all the way too. Feeling good. 
250 coins, 1,420 star bits, really nice rewards. So we're continuing through this planet. Since we are close to the source, open your ears to the Biophony, the most emotionally uplifting eco music in the galaxy. Yeah! Ooh. To be honest, not really hearing much. Got some little birds chirping. Wow, okay. <sighs> I wouldn't have thought anything could completely silence the Melodic Gardens, even darkness. Beepo, I believe I understand. Melodic Gardens is out of balance due to the muzzling of its symphonic ecosystem. For example, the planet's air density has become much heavier, which is preventing our ship from launching. Given that all music is merely a determinant of the mathematical laws of harmonics, could we not simply reconstruct the planet's biophonies digitally to restore harmony to the melodic gardens? Gee, real music cannot be reduced to mere mathematics. Why, the two have as much in common as an octave to an octopus. Huh. Interesting that an octave is the distance between the first and eighth note of a major scale, and an octopus has eight. Enough, Genie. <laughs> They're always arguing. All right, well, here we are. The skill prism has been obtained. You just unlocked new skill prisms. You can use them in the skill tree to empower your heroes. Surprise, we're getting new skill prisms just considering we're so close to upgrading everything to the max anyways. This is the skill tree. We know all about that. We don't have a ton available. Um, we just one point for everybody, but you know, that's still pretty good. We could probably just keep saving that up for later. I think I definitely want to take on at least one more level today. And Harmony Disruption. Ooh, so let's see what this is about. Harmony Disruption, we've entered the music jung jungle, eliminated the darkness puddle, but venture further into the mystic jungle. Huh. So where are we right now? We're right here, we need to head over that way. We can definitely handle that, I think. And Berserk joins the team, our new spark. I do wanna see what they do. So right down this way, this is Berserk. Hero deals 8% weapon damage and gains 8% resistance for each enemy within range. Interesting. So I guess the more enemies bundle near us, the more damage we can end up doing. Increase the hero's max HP by 30%. That sounds really amazing. I could even upgrade them even more, but I'll save that for later. So what can we do around here? Here in the melodic jungle. I could play this. Very cool. What is this? Oh, I think it's a cleansing elixir. Don't really see those out in the wild too much. And, oh, it's like a little heart. Cute. And then right down this way, we have a bush. And we can shake, it gives us a couple of coins. I didn't know if it was an instrument. I think around here, everything is an instrument. Whoa, what is going on with this? A replica of a violet crested swingback funk bird. The pecking sound they make is a grit your teeth thunderous bass line. I love it. Sounds great. And there are even more of these little musical things to sort of reach. Whoa, look at this. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Huh, Harmony Disruption. Overcome the obstacles using Beepo powers. You can do that. Press CL to use Beepo scan power. So yeah, of course we, ooh, used all these in the main game. You can see that right there. We're just supposed to, oh, and there's even more over this way. Whoa, okay. The dark mess in the jungle. Let's give this a try. So dark mist in the jungle has a lot of dark mist eyes. They are all over the place. But we have some characters that are well fitted for this for sure. I think we'll keep Princess Peach, but then we'll switch over to Rabid Luigi. Something like this can be a great combo. Mario is also pretty good, but hmm, do we want to do something else instead just to mix it up a little bit? I think Rabid Mario might be a good replacement. So we'll do something like that. If I take a look again at the uh, whole setup here, how many dark mist eyes are there to defeat? Uh, what kind of enemies might we be dealing with? That's what I wanna see. So let's open up the Beepo Tactic Cam. We do have Kamek's around, which are of course resistant to all types, but then we also have uh, Spell Razors, which are weak to Gust. And then a bunch of Bob Bombs, which they're only one HP, so it doesn't really matter what they're weak to. Okay, so it looks like that's the most of it. This is gonna be really complicated. 20 eyes to destroy. Sounds really challenging. So first things first, let's make sure that uh, Rabbit Luigi has the skills they need here. We need to make sure that they're uh, 
weapon has as many ricochets as possible. So chain targets is what we're really looking for. So I might once again remove these. They're great, but not as necessary as this is. So let's get that. Our weapon damage might be good. Um, okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Is there anything more I can do? We have exhaust dashes. Those are okay. The extra dash is good. You know, yeah, we'll just upgrade that. Critical hit chance is nice too, but I think that's our points well spent, if you ask me. We could do some weakened stuff, but I think that's fine for now. Uh, switch over to Rapid Mario. And for him, I mean, there's weapon damage and stuff. I think no limits can be nice. I think we'll keep this current setup though. This really isn't that bad. Uh, and then Peach, we already changed ourselves. So I think we'll stick with some of that. I do want to try this Berserk. I think I will try it with Rabid Mario. And then if that's the case, I probably just want to Let's see, we can do a squash at Master, or we could do Oozer Master. Let's do Oozer Master over the Exosphere. It's so cool that we have like access to basically everything here. Um, I want to do a Wild Claw Master maybe. Or actually, I think we should just do Gargantu or Gargantu Fan. Why do I keep saying it wrong? I don't know. But uh, beyond that, maybe Electric Eden. Sure, let's try that out there. Uh, we'll see how this works out. It might be perfect, it might be a total disaster. Only one way to find out, and that's to try, so here we go. Da, 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 da. So, Rabbit Luigi is one of those ones where we can get them in a good position and just destroy so much so quickly. The only problem I'm a little bit worried about is just like, ooh, look at this. We can clear out so much just like this. Finding that right position. This hits a lot of them. <laughs> we can get Rabbit calling just to do a big slam. It gets rid of at least three VI straight away and the Bob on. You know, so like those kind of ideas are always good. Just trying to find the best position I could get in. Now you fly. I guess up there. Which I guess we knocked them up that way, didn't we? Come on, come on. Let's do this then. I will dash into you to weaken you. I can do a combo like that. Oh, here we go. This is more so what I'm looking for. Something like this where it gets three eyes gone at once. Seems like a good idea. So that's already six eyes destroyed in this first turn. And that's just one character. So we switch over to Robin Mario. I mean, first off, we could do an Oozer summoned in. I don't know if they'll attack Darkness Eyes, but they can at least attack other enemies and stuff. Okay, they at least weaken them. I mean, oh, they can attack Darkness Eyes. That's honestly a really good scenario. So we move down here now. And I, I guess just try to find that perfect spot where I can maybe hit all three. It might exist, it might not. There it is, perfect. With three more than destroyed, plus the one from the Oozer. We're already halfway through. Now Peach, I didn't really think too much about where exactly I want her to be, so I might just wanna hide her in the corner for now and then try to get her closer to that side later on. I mean, if I do that, Rob and Luigi's way up here and sort of vulnerable, we can shield each other. I can blast this one. And let's move to the next turn. So we're at 11 out of 20 of them already defeated. We're making quick work of it, for sure. This Bob-Bomb's trying to get a little bit closer. We won't be able to accomplish too much, but plenty of the other ones are marching towards us. Okay, this is definitely where it can get a bit intense because we have to go so far out. Oh, and they're gonna spawn in more friends. Honestly, I think it's just best to ignore as much of it as possible. Leave no. Rabbit Luigi al alone. Okay. They're spawning in so much. Definitely gets overwhelming. But that's where it's just, I think speed is what's worth prioritizing in a situation like this. Poor Rabbit Luigi. Everybody's beating up on him. I don't know if there'll be enough shields. This is going on for a while, too. Ooh, that was very painful. Jeez, I can't believe all this is actually going on right now. There's so many people to take on. It's a little ridiculous. Wow, 2,500 damage from that one, too. That is insane. And that's gonna attack again, just over and over. We might actually lose Rabbit Luigi on the That's really not fair. Okay, he's down to 61. Wow, that's actually a miracle. Okay, so how do we wanna do this one? I think we're gonna get Rabbit Peach out, or just this Princess Peach, actually, sorry. Um, get her out here. 
First things first. I'm gonna use these bob bombs to my advantage. I don't wanna hit both at once, I don't think. I mean, maybe I can if I'm quick about it. I can just pick one up, toss it over here, pick up another, and then toss it again. That'll knock out both of those guys, deservedly so. And then I also got rid of some more dark mess eyes. Now I'm a little concerned on where I go from here because these guys are not gonna be kind to me. I could go up this pipe. I wish I had some healing. Uh, I didn't really think about getting items. I should probably go back and do that next time. But I can at the least maybe walk out here, do a bit of this. Try to just make some distance for now. Because let's take a look. Where are the eyes remaining? There's 13 and 20 eyes. There's one there, and then there's six over there. So, really, what I need to do is get Rabbit Luigi over there and make his last turn here, because he's probably going to get knocked out after this as effective as possible. If we can go out here and hit a bunch of these eyes. I hope this works. Oh, we're getting one, two, three, four of them, I think. All right, that's perfect then. Dude, that's really the best I can ask for here. I don't think we're gonna find a better setup, so let's go for it. One, two, three, hit the stooge or whatever it is, and then four or five. See, we hit five of them there. Only two more left to sort of figure out here. How do I wanna do this? I guess I'll just march Rabbit Mario over there for now. I will just walk over this way and activate this. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, and one of them's resistant, of course, because this is how it is. But we'll get a scoper out here. Maybe they could scope out another one of the guys. It'd be amazing if they just decided to with the spark refresher. Um, will they go for it? Oh, they won't. That would have been so good if they did. Um, that's all we can really do here. But we knocked out a lot of enemies here too, so I think overall we did a good job. Um, and not really much more I can do. So I think we'll just end the turn. And what are they up to over here? There goes Rabbit Luigi, but we were expecting it, so it's not too much of a bummer. Definitely a tough mission. Lots of bob bombs marching forward. Oh, there's another cannon over there too, didn't see that. Peach does also take some damage, but it's minimal compared to what Rabbit Luigi went through. Scoper gets beat up a little bit too. Okay, this might be our chances. Kamek repositions, goes for the Scoper again. And then Kamek's gonna attack each of you. Thanks. Doesn't do too much damage. There's just so many, so many enemies. Another one over here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, oh they'll go for both of us. That's evil. And more spawning in. I don't think that's too much of a worry. What we wanna do is start with Rabbit Mario, if possible. Ooh, okay, that's good. Rabbit Mario, I want you to get over here and just finish off that one eye. Here it goes, indeed. Almost here, almost here. And let's punch this thing around. Cool. So that means there's one more eye by Princess Peach. I think we can get to it. Just by going into this pipe, walking over here, pointing at it, and boom. There we go, I think we just won. I sure hope so. There it is, battle cleared. All right. And we will get some help for it, but not a ton. I'll definitely need to heal these guys up at some point. We'll get 110 coins and 820 star bits as a reward. We definitely need to do some upgrades and stuff soon then. So Dark Mist and the Jungle Planet coin awarded for that, so we'll be able to use that to get lots of goodies later on. Um, is there anything else Depot can help us find here? It doesn't seem like it, so we run back over this way, and you'll see. Yeah. We can get down here. So we're overcoming some obstacles. What does this say? Use, press CR to use Depot's weave power. So yeah, we can activate this platform. Cool. If we switch that again, it was way over there. Can't quite reach that anyways, so I might as well have this one active for now. What other ways can we go? There's a big monkey. I find nothing amusing about a bellhop neglecting his duties, even if it's to add the funky icing to a crispy drum fill. Poor rabbit. He's getting squished up there. Okay, what more can we do here? We can shake this bush. Get a couple of coins out of it. Oh, and a free POW block. Don't mind if I do. So we'll get that. I don't know if there's anything extra here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're gonna continue down this bridge. I don't know how much more we'll explore throughout today's episode, but we'll find out soon enough. I'll go ahead and boom, break that open. And 
We can move this over. Doesn't do much at first. Huh. Yeah, I don't quite know how to get over there. But if we climb up this way, it looks like we have a wall blocking us. That's because of that darkness eye over there. So I'll climb down this way. And, oh, I see I need some kind of shape to get past that. So I guess I really should have, I mean, I don't know if that would have made much of a difference, would it? Oh, you know, that's for whenever we do find the item we're looking for here. Oh, you know what, this is a hidden wall for sure. There is something. I, I still need a piece of something to get through to that. A little confused on where could that be? I guess I'll need to switch this back. There it is, yeah, okay, so, huh. See, that's where things get tricky. I can't quite just go back down here and switch this, because then I can't get back over. All right, seems like we found our first puzzle here. It seems a little tricky. Let me go back up here. There could have been something I missed. Seems very likely. Oh, here we go. So it looks like, yeah, there's a ladder right down here we can activate, and that will make things a lot easier to go around here. So what we wanna do now then, go back down this way, activate that, head back up here, and what do we wanna do now? I still can't do much about this, but, oh, you know what, I can go up that way. Okay, yeah, now I remember. So I need to go up here. Pick this thing up. Is there anything else around here? Oh, we're up this way. Doesn't seem like it, so I just pick up this fancy little piece, and we just need this one down there. It's the whole goal. To do that, I'm gonna need to drop it here. Go like this. Give this a blast. Go move over. A little bit of a back and forth here, because we need to pick it up, put it down, go back down, move it over. But we'll get there eventually. So now I can just, uh, Get back over this way. Whoop, whoop. Almost. Got it. And then we just bring it to that little spot in the wall that we just broke open. And that should do something for sure. It opens up that ba barrier. Okay, so we're running back up here. And this is where I think we just grab this, right? And throw it at the darkness eye. I don't only really like it when you throw stuff at them. Okay, yeah. boom, gotcha. And that allows us to get over that way. Seems like there's a lot more to do here, isn't there? So I will definitely at the least climb up here. Let's see what's going on next. It seems like there's a lot more. So press here multiple times to grow vines. Whoa, okay. And that brings us way over here. Really going all over the place with this one. Speed donuts! Or we're speeding through, and it looks like because of that we get our first checkpoint. Music jungle flag, you discovered a new teleport flag. Open the map menu to use it to fast travel around the planet. That's great, so the harmony, harmony disruption crossed the music jungle marsh. So we got the this spot, it looks like there's a lot more to find here. I don't exactly know where the music jungle marsh is, way over there. So it looks like for right now, our goal is just to continually explore more of the music jungle, but I think this was a great place to start it off at. We got a couple missions done in this DLC and there's plenty more coming soon. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, The Last Spark Hunter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.